to the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences Virtual Open House. My name is Sharice Richardson. I'm the Assistant Dean for First Year Students, and I'm very happy to be able to present you information that will help you to understand more about our school and the programs we have available here. So the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences is part of Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Our campus has 3,210 students enrolled at the undergraduate level, which puts our student to faculty ratio at 12 to 1. Our first year advising program has a very good student ratio of 25 students to every one faculty or staff advisor. The benefit of being at a small school within a large research university is that you can have sort of a small campus feel with your own faculty and staff and a close knit community of peers, but have access to all of the resources of Rutgers University. School of Environmental and Biological Sciences offers 21 different degree programs, ranging from areas of agriculture and environmental to scientific studies. Uh, and our students also are pursuing fields in pre-medical, pre-dental, pre-veterinary, and pre-law in addition. Our program is unique in that we allow our students, as long as they are pursuing one of our 21 majors, be able to complete a double major either within our school or through the School of Arts and Sciences. There are also limited opportunities to be able to pursue majors through other schools within the university with permission. Minors and certificate degree programs are also broadly available within our school, and our students can also opt for minors through Arts and Sciences, Mason Grove School of the Arts, and also one program in our business school. We do also, also offer several programs with professional certification. Uh, those would be our programs in landscape architecture, the program leading to the Bachelor of Science in Landscape Architecture. You would also be able to complete our dietetics program leading to the registered dietitian certification. And there are options for various joint programs, such as our joint bachelor's, master's in education, leading to secondary science and secondary agricultural teaching opportunities. We have our own honors program here at the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, and our students also get invited to the honors college program. The difference is that the honors college program is for students from all of the schools within the university, and typically our school will have approximately 50 to 75 students represented within the honors college. Our SEBS General Honors Program is a program that is a long standing here in our community. And our students in that program, typically we will have around 70 or so students within the SEBS General Honors Program. Both programs give opportunities for our students to engage in research very early in their education, as well as have faculty mentorships and a lot of hands on learning opportunities across the board. Our Educational Opportunity Fund is for our first generation college students who meet the guidelines and it provides both a summer program bridge as well as academic and financial support resources throughout the four years of study at the university. In addition to our joint program for teaching, we also offer joint programs for medicine, for dentistry, for masters in business and science, and for masters MBA programs. Students have the flexibility to design a program that will really help to meet all of their needs. One of the cornerstones of what we do here as a professional school is to ensure that our students not only have the book learning that they need to be successful in their fields, but also the hands-on options to help them to both explore their field of study, determine whether that field of study is the correct field for them, and also be able to build their resumes and their applications for graduate and professional school. To that end, we offer options for honors research, hands-on learning opportunities across all fields, whether laboratory or social science based, field studies in areas like ecology uh, and marine science, and practica, uh, which you will find in our animal science program. In addition, we offer what I call directed studies, which are primarily either independent studies or internship programs. In 
internships are offered both through our Student to Professional Internship Network, which we call SPIN for short, and our Career Services Department at the University. The SPIN program is actually a joint program between SEBS and Career Services, which allows our students to be able to explore the specific types of fields of study that we offer here. The unique part of SPIN is that students can bring their own internships to the program and be able to conduct the type of internship which will help them to gain the very specific fields needed, uh, skills needed for the fields they are entering. Many departments also keep job boards, which are uh, we receive listings from alumni and from the industry uh, when they are looking for students to come and do internships for them. We also offer broad range of study abroad programs, um, both through Rutgers University, as well as through our relationship with the Big Ten, where students can do study abroad through any Big Ten school. In addition, our SEBS faculty also offer faculty sponsored programs, some of which are research focused, um, like our environmental science program, which took a group of students along with the plant science program to the Amazon rainforest to be able to collect samples of plants and soils. You'll also have academic based programs like our program, which has students studying the microbiology of wine and cheese, where they go to Belgium and France. And in that time frame, they are there. They're meeting with the vintners and the growers and the producers and learning everything there is to know about the food industry from both a microbiology and a food science standpoint. We do offer summer scholarships for our students to be able to go abroad because we want our students to have that opportunity to make the connection between the work they're doing in the classroom and the broader work going on around the world. No matter where you are within Rutgers University, you have access to a huge support network and our resources are set up to really engage the whole student. We offer both first year and upper class faculty advising. So you are assigned to a faculty advisor all the way from day one, straight through to graduation. And you also have access to the academic deans in the Office of Academic Programs. In addition, we have a full complement of tutoring services through our Rutgers Learning Centers, our Math and Science Learning Centers, and our English Writing Program. We also offer mentoring opportunities for our first generation college students who will take a course called academic mentoring in the first semester. And that will help them to get acclimated at the university and really make the most of their educational process here, be able to take advantage of all the resources. If you live on campus, you have residence life. You also have a full range of health services, including our counseling and our wellness services, career counseling, and our disability support services programs. In addition, there is a women in STEM program through the Douglas Residential College, which is very popular among our incoming students as a way to both engage in uh, living in a single sex housing, um, as well as being in residence with mentors, upper class mentors in the sciences. They also do offer a non-residential option for women in STEM and students can apply through to either of those through the enrollment dashboard. So if you should have additional questions for us, please do go to our website, sebs.rutgers.edu slash students slash incoming slash first dash year dot php. And you'll find a great deal of information there. For specific information about scholarships, sebs.rutgers.edu slash SFA. You can also email us. You can use our talk to link on our primary website. You'll find the small logo on each page. Or you can simply call our office and ask to speak with the staff member. Thank you so much for joining me today. So glad to have had you here with me. And we look forward to talking to you again.